We haven't talked to you since the Oregon game. A lot's been made of the, of the running, the, the second half running the ball a lot. There wasn't a lot of plays there, I guess. But the fact that you did run everything after about the middle of the third quarter, did, is that what struck you? Is it just just keep running the ball, or or yeah, or was there just no real opportunities to throw? No, I think we uh, we struggled with the throws early in the half. We had a couple turnovers in the pass game, and we were running the ball really well. Our, our defense was playing well. Our special teams was creating short fields for us, and um, it felt like the, the O line and the running backs, tight ends, they just had a really good rhythm of, in the run game. And, you yeah, still sit back working. and. and- Kind of scratch like, wait, how did we do that? Like, yeah, I didn't. I didn't until uh, after the game, and you kind of read it. That said, I don't. I don't remember what the exact number was, but it was uh, all those runs in a row. It was pretty, it was pretty crazy. And, uh, Against one of the top ranked. Runs yeah, and, and I think it's just a credit to the offensive line, our, our front guys, and, and uh, the backs. To, uh, and then the quarterback had a couple run checks that got us into the right play in there. But it was. Uh, it's always be able, good to be able to run the ball when, when we want to. For, for a for a play caller. Um, how much is it? What's the temptation there? You, when, the, when you're running the ball so well, and you, this has happened many times over the five years, what's the temptation to go? Yeah, I still want to throw it, even though you know the run game's working so well. Uh, it's it's tough sometimes, and I just I think uh, sometimes when you're you're having negative plays, whether it's a sack or a turnover, and you have a couple of those, it makes it even tougher to call. But I think you know. Our, our offensive staff, our, our philosophy is really to keep people off balance, and, and that's a big piece of what we do. And so I think moving forward, you know, get that, that passing game sharper in all areas, not just at the quarterback position with accuracy, decision-making, um, protection's got to get better, spacing the routes. Um, all that stuff's got to improve. And I think for us to be where we want to be offensively, we got to be able to throw the ball in the action game and, and drop it back as well. And that's just something in the Oregon game at times, particularly in the second half, that we struggled with. And, it may, does make it tough, tougher to call. When you look at this Florida defense, what do you see? Uh, size, speed, athleticism. Um, really, uh, just overall speed on the defense really jumps out to you on film. It, it'll be a it'll be a really big challenge for us. I heard last week the cold and flu bug hit the team. Are you guys all healthy now? Yeah, we were <laughs> we were pretty light on numbers uh, last year or last week, and it was. Uh, I got to get out of town, go do some recruiting. So that was it was nice to get out of here at that point. But yeah, everybody was everybody's back. I think for the most part now. A lot of people talk about the physicality of the SEC. How do you feel like this Oregon State team has really built that physicality to be able to be in a position to really compete with a team like Florida? Yeah, that's. I mean, we we pride ourselves on that and, and trying to make the game physical. And, um, you know, on both sides of the ball and, and in the special teams area. And, and uh, I think it'll be just a really big challenge to our guys. I think our guys are really excited about the opportunity to play a team from the SEC um, with the, the, the talent that I guess that those guys have on their defense and uh, just kind of a national brand in Florida and uh, on a national stage and in a cool venue. Um, I think our guys are just excited for the challenge. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Does that help recruiting at all? I mean, you have two commits from Florida, one that you're bringing in this weekend. Do you think if you could... You know, by playing Florida national team, does does it help you in, in households going forward? I think so. I think it's a it's a it's a nationally televised game. Um, you know, ESPN. I think so. You're, people around are seeing it. You're playing, like I said, a, a name brand in, in Florida. Um, yeah, we've been able to, to get some quality players out of that state. So I think it's a, yeah, that help us for sure. So Coach Smith has really transformed this whole program in the past five years, and it goes to show he's won a couple of Coach of the Year awards. Can you just describe him a little bit as a leader to me, maybe? things we don't see on a daily basis and how that just shows in the team culture and in practice every day? Uh, just a, a really sh- uh, smart, I think, you know what I mean? Smart, efficient, um, and I think it really sticks to his process. He, he When he came in here, uh, when we came in here early as a staff, he really set, set the, uh, hey, this is this is kind of how I want it. This is my vision for the program. This is, this is kind of how I want to build it. And uh, even through some of those rough times, the first couple of years, when we had some losses and, uh, you know, some, some tough, tough, going through some tough adversity, uh, he was able to stick to the process and trust and believe in it and then uh, keep pushing through. And uh, the guys bought into it. We've been able to retain a lot of the coaching staff, which I think is huge. Uh, and then and it's really helped our recruiting. And it's just kind of kind of rolling now. And it's, uh, it's a fun to be a part of it. Coach Brady just said that he is very content being in his position. Do you feel like this Oregon State staff um, kind of has that characteristic where a lot of other um, programs might, you know, be looking to climb a little bit faster? Like, what is it about this program that just makes those push want to stay? 
Uh, I just think the way Jonathan runs the program and treats and treats people, I think uh, it's just uh, it's a program that people want to be a part of. Um, and uh, I feel like uh, guys from our end, it's uh, learned a lot from him. Um, and then it just you're around good people uh, doing things, I, I believe, the right way. And that's just something I think guys want to be a part of. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, you, you, like you said, you don't always see it um, around the program, around the country, the different programs. And so when you find us in a spot like that to be a part of it, I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Do you see a connection between that and also having continuity on, on the roster as well? Because we're seeing a ton of turnover with players nowadays, too. Do you see a connection between those two things? Totally. Totally, and I, I think, uh, yeah, guys, guys realize, hey, I got a good, good thing going. I really um, feel like I'm, I'm getting developed, uh, you know, as a player, as a student athlete, and uh, yeah, respected and, and treated well. And um, I think, uh, yeah, guys are seeing us, you know, win games and, and play in different roles. I think a lot of guys are, you know, buying into their role, whether it just be even on special teams or as a backup. And I think that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it speaks to kind of the culture that he's been able to create. So. 